Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. When we think about what we do every day, we have many habits. Are you happy with your habits? Do you know that over 40% of our actions every day are not due to the decisions we make, but the due to the habits that we have? So when you think about all the ways we think about habits, when you hear the word habits, what instantly comes to your mind? Do you think about bad habits or good habits? My friend and I were out to dinner and we were asking people randomly about habits and instantly most people went to, oh, the bad habits. Well, it's interesting though, if you go online and, and look at the books in the bookstore, when you look at books around habits, they're normally associated to the positive things. One of the most popular books in our world today is The Seven, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. Then there's also The Seven Habits of a Successful Entrepreneur. There's 16 habits of the mind and 22 habits to be a happy person. So when you look at all of those books, we think of those habits, those habits are all to make us better. All the great things that people do in their routines every day to make them more successful. So we think about habits and routines, all of us have them every day. And when we think about all the things that we do to be more productive, just step back and think about those things. Those are those things that we have habits and routines and many times good ones. So when we think about those things, stop and think about what is best for your habits in the day. First, where do our habits come from? Well, sometimes a, a habit is so unconscious to us, sometimes we don't even realize that we're doing it. You may think about different things in your day or um, other people may pick up your habits, but most of our habits are created from our mind. When we instantly have a thought, wherever our thought leads us, our habits follow. So sometimes that's where we think about our negative habits occurring all the time, is that we get something in our mind about, oh, I want to do something differently and I can't, I'm not good at that, right? So the words that we say and the thoughts that we have is, I'm not good at that, which sometimes leads us to have a bad habit. So we think about those habits in our day and you think about wanting to change things. A lot of people think, especially at this time of year, about resolutions and goals. Well, not, don't just think about it at this time of year. Think about it all the time. Anytime we want to make change, we're going to have to create good habits and good routines. And so it's not just one time a year, it's all the time. But sometimes we get in that rut of some things that we were on a good path and something changes. That routine changes or habit changes. Just go back to your mind and get back in sync. And so we're going to talk more later about correcting those bad habits, but I want you first to really think about what are your thoughts and where are your thoughts coming day to day when it comes to your habits. The other thing when you think about habits is about those people around you. You probably notice some things that irritate you about others. You go, gosh, they have a bad habit. Um, spouses, different things, you know, that you see in, in people's day when they're sitting there in a meeting tapping their pen over and over again or moving their leg because they're impatient or chewing with their mouth open or whatever it might be. We have a tendency to pick up on those habits, but how many times have you asked others about your habits and what are some of those things that we do that get annoying? But really, most of all, I want you to spend some time this week in observation. For positive charge this week, I'd like you to first think of what a habit is to you. And how much do you think of your day as habit? Second, I want you to think about what are your positive habits that you have? And third, what are those habits that you consider negative or bad habits? Sit back and observe, and we'll talk about how we can help you get better with those habits next week. I'd like to close with a quote from Ben Franklin. Your net worth to the world is what remains in you when your bad habits are subtracted from your good habits. Your value will increase exponentially. So when you think about our habits, we all have good habits and we all have some bad habits. And so really think about how can we move to having more good habits in our day to increase our performance and productivity. Thank you for joining us today and remember to get your mind on.